Well, hello everyone, Kryptonite here, and welcome back to another Warbound video. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different to the rest of them because the reason why you clicked on this thumbnail and for this video is to find out what the best seed that I have found so far. Now, just a disclaimer I managed to find this seed thanks to one of my community leaving a comment in one of my previous videos. He let me know the seed number and what why he thought it was the best so i thought i'd go ahead and check it out and i have once again um yeah started a new game because i am pretty impressed with the seed so this is kind of the view which is kind of a lovely view but more importantly this is why it's one of the best seeds that i have found so far we've got a nice massive 50,000 copper or node here one for iron just there and then just down here not too far away at all we have a coal one over there as well it looks like we're going to get attacked by a boar any second now don't know where it's gone so apart from that we have some wood resource over here and we've also got these uh, buildings over here to explore as well so amongst the massive um, sort of cave over here we've got another another ore node over there as well just down here so they are plentiful around this sort of area we've got some smaller ones little goblin camp there so yeah so far i think this is probably one of the best seeds i have found so i'm thoroughly impressed with it um in the meantime just gonna grab some more of these resources just gathering a load of resources and items that we need for to get our mining in operation all up and running so so just another something to show you as well um if we just head on over here and open it all up and i can show you what it's all about we have here a nice um excel spreadsheet now this one i've kind of created myself um so it is a work in progress but i will be leaving a link down in the description for this for yourselves but as you see here we've got our basic resources at the moment we've got copper plates copper pipes iron cogs wood and stone we've also got ore and everything over here as well we've also got the quantities so the ore is a two to one ratio we have here now the thing that will be handy for you guys if you decide to use it is that you have got here the ingots that are needed so for example if we needed say 20 iron ore ingots we put that in it tells us how much ore is required and we can also do the same down here so if for instance we need 50 copper pipes it will tell us how much ore we need to how many ingots we need as well so that's pretty simple but the more complicated stuff comes down here so i've got all of the buildings that i've kind of unlocked in this playthrough i'm kind of going through and we've basically got all the resources that are required just here that we are going to need for each one now more importantly is this table over here so i've set this table up and as you can see here at the moment i want three crushers three smelters and three drills and some water pumps and things now what it's basically done and i'll show an example here for we'll do we'll do this one over here for instance the merger so say for instance we need eight mergers you can now see in here it is kind of input the information of how many ingots i need copper and iron and how many iron cogs we need now more importantly another feature that i decided to add just to make life a little bit easier for everyone is that the total so all of these items here we will need um, 115 copper plates 130 iron plates 180 iron cogs etc etc so obviously as i do go along this playthrough i'll be filling out all this information as well now to save any confusion to people that it is available to um i have kind of locked this excel spreadsheet so but you can enter the information in this section here this part here and obviously your total wanted here everything else you won't be able to edit so at least we don't have to worry about people messing around with the information given so that's pretty handy there so there we go just thought i would um, throw that in there for everyone in case you are wondering or you are interested in just making your lives a little bit easier so let's carry on and um, figure out what exactly we need um we've got our 100 copper pipe work so let's just go ahead and double check we have everything we need over here can't remember exactly what i did put in there uh, we need to get rid of this eight that i put in the mergers okay so overall um if we just pop this back up here to make things nice and easy to explain we need okay so we only need a 30 copper pipe so i've got 100 so 
that's good. Um, that will leave us with a little bit of room with our pipe works to play with. We've got 150 copper plates, so we are doing well there. So that's pretty good. I'm um, just going to pop these down here, actually, so we know where they are. Um, we've got to our 100 cogs, but we will need some more, as we can see over in this direction. We do need a few more. We need 140 iron cogs altogether. So I'll probably do 200 iron cogs and 200 iron plates, and then we just need to gather some wood and also some extra ingots for the copper and the iron as well so that's something i'll be working towards so we've got all the plates and we've got the copper pipe work so that's looking good we have another 50 cogs over here so we might as well go ahead and get the other 50 there and we just have to pop to a more portable drills at the moment we're just going to grab some of this as well um so yeah we've got some more copper ore over here we'll make sure we activate that back up we'll chuck these in the smelters and get these smelting but yeah i decided to do another playthrough a to check out this seed and because i'm just absolutely thoroughly enjoying this game so i'm going to be playing a lot of it and the release the full release or early access shall we say is coming out relatively soon so it's something i'm definitely excited for the devs have let on for some extra little bits and pieces that will be available in early access so we'll go ahead and grab all of this probably want to put some more coal into here that will do for now so yeah we're looking good for this so we're going to go ahead and pop these in here get those smelting once we get the automation all sorted it's going to be nice and quick and easy have we got any quests here that we can do uh, acquire items for 1750 it's probably definitely going to be worth doing that oh we need another 50 um copper plates i wonder if that's worth doing can't have too many plates surely we'll need them eventually anyway so i might as well do those for a bit of extra cash it's always good to have a lot of cash so that's pretty good um the rest of it i think will be pretty good for now and then yeah we can work towards those as and when so okay yeah so going back to where we kind of got the scrap distracted i better show you where you actually start the spawn point so basically you will spawn on top of this hill up here and all you want to do is kind of look down the top of the hill where you'll see this tree and you should see these ore nodes you just want to head down to the bottom you probably will encounter some goblins and that on the way down but don't worry about them too much you should be able to avoid them pretty easily oh getting attacked by a boar okay so yeah that was that was it basically just a nice little quick video just to showcase one of the best seeds that i found thanks to one of the community members so if you do want me to continue the playthrough on this seed so you can see um how good it actually becomes make sure you leave a comment down below i'll be definitely interested to um start recording some more videos with this sort of playthrough but nonetheless it's been kryptonite here thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one so here we are back at the main menu because you're probably wondering what the seed is now i thought i'd head back to the menu just to showcase how you can input a custom scene just in case you're not aware it's really quite simple just go on to just here and begin journey going to custom seed and you can type the seed here now the one that i found was 1136 so that was the seed just like that and what we're going to do is we will head into begin journey and i'll showcase earlier what we spoke about just so you can actually see that this is a genuine seed number that i am telling you so we'll head to begin journey so here we go as you can see we are landing and as you can see all of these lovely ore nodes right there on the surface so there's absolutely plenty to choose from we're going to be close to spawn so you don't have to dig too far either so basically when you get to this point you want to just jump off you have your rune over here your ancient stone explaining the story and all you want to do is kind of head over in the direction where you saw all of the ore nodes which should be just over here there we go so aim for the big tree and as you can see around about here you can see where we set up our base just here so as you can see plenty of ore nodes already available and lots more to explore so there we go everyone 